Welcome back to The Way We Farm. Today's video is gonna be talking about our beautiful combines. So the plan was this week, get the 9,500 combine running. Well, we hauled corn for a couple days, the ethanol plant. Yesterday and the day before was beautiful here in Western New York. It, we hit a record high in the mid 60s. So we worked outside, did some things we had to get caught up on. So. We're going to tell you why the 9500 isn't running today. Uh, so we had this great plan. We were going to get it back together. Well, we had her almost back together and uh, whoopsie. Troy decided we should change the radiator hose. Got a bad spot right there, been rubbing. So this radiator hose has got a little steel coupler here. And we'd ordered the top half, but somehow Tom ordered the top half, we forgot to order the bottom half. So really don't want to put it back together and run it and have this weak spot blow our new motor. So it's almost back together. A little bit of tin work could be good to go. So in the meantime, we've got the motor out of the 9670 at the machine shop, waiting to hear back. We think the block is going to be okay. So the hydro is getting suspect on this machine. So I called my dear friends at John Deere and said, hey, See what I did there, dear friends? And I said, could I get a, a hydro that's remanned? Uh, sure. Oh, wait a minute. There's none available. Could I get a new one? A new one was quite expensive. Let's say the, the, the motor is in this box. So for the new pump, charge pump, and motor, on sale was well over 20,000. That wasn't gonna fly. So called our friends at Worthington Ag Express, or Worthington Ag Parts, part of Ag Express. They said, we got a reman, we'll send it to you. You send yours back, it'll be $5,500 when we get your core back. So 55 is better than over 22,000. So that's what we're doing. So today I said, man, Friday be a beautiful day. Let's pull this, uh, pull this hydro off and uh, get that switch and we'll work on the motor on Monday. Oopsie, I didn't realize we don't have the O-rings for here. There's got to be an O-ring for here. There's a housing that goes in here, a T-fitting, excuse me. We don't have the fitting for there. We don't have the large O-ring for the front. So I'm going to take a ride tomorrow to the local John Deere dealer, see what they have in, in store. Hey there, Bella. So in the meantime, we said, okay, well, we got enough other work to do. So. I said, we've got to drop the oil out of the, out of the reservoir and then the gear case. And I don't even know what they call that front case. So I start dropping the oil. Well, I did not realize when the oil dropped out, it hits the rear axle like smack dab on top of the rear axle. Look at the nice mess I got. So, oh, a couple cans of floor dry. We'll have that cleaned up. So in the meantime, we're debating we had the, the bearing fail behind there, and that is a greasable. So we bought a greasable, we're gonna change that. As you can see, right through the engine compartment, there is no engine, the engine's still gone. But we got the radiator fin straight now, we got the radiator back in it. So we're debating whether we need to put new tines on our separator. We're not sure how wore out our concaves are. Our friend is gonna bring his gauge over and measure our concaves. We've got to put the small wire ones in for wheat. We'll show you that sometime. So we're not sure if our rasp bars are worse. So he's going to come over with his gauge. John here makes a gauge. We're going to see if our rasp bars are shot, or con what our concaves look like, and if our tines are wore out. So we're just putting a ton of money and time into these old girls. So people that don't farm a lot of acres, sometimes hire, we do some custom work for guys, and people are like, why don't they own their own combines? Well, this is why. It takes a lot of labor and a lot of expense to keep a combine running correctly if you put many acres through it. So the old 9500, we like, we like that machine. We have some custom work. The guys like the long straw out of it. It's a great spare combine. It's fun to run. It's uh, not quite so big to store. So we'll probably have this machine for a long time. The 9670 we've had for a couple years. She is a great machine. We love it. We bought it real reasonable in Ohio. We probably put $500 on it. <clears throat> we didn't know the head gasket was gonna blow, but when we bought it, they told us the hydro was a little weak. So 
we'll throw hydro in it and we will get her back together. So we, uh, the hydro pump is right there. So we got to get some stuff unbolted off of that. We got, like I say, we got the oil drained out. No big deal. We'll get the O-rings and we'll flop that, swap that out next week sometime. And, oh, we put new knives on the straw chopper last year. I think they'll go another year. The rear discharge beaters inside here, the paddles, we're gonna uh, switch some of them around. We're gonna put new swept back uh, accelerator paddles on the front for the dry beans. We're gonna put them on before wheat season, try to wear them off a little bit so they're not so sharp. I'd like to change this unload auger chain. If anybody has any experience rebuilding, uh, put new O-rings and stuff. Oh, my little pellet was sitting there is missing. These darn things leak. For the single point hookup so i looked in uh looked online today i thought i could just buy a uh kit and it would have all the o-rings and stuff well it says something about a special tool and i didn't see a kit it looked like they're all individual so if anybody watches this video and has ever done that if you have any ad advice please pass it along so oh we gotta put a new seal underneath the feeder house a couple of little things She's gonna need a new set of sneakers real bad. These are the original tires on this combine according to the date code on them. So we'll probably wait till after wheat harvest to put new tires on the front. The back ones were new when we got it. We do quite a bit of road work. They're getting smoked off, but if we don't have a wet fall, they'll be fine. Maybe we'll just order a new set, keep them here. And if it starts raining, we'll throw them on if it gets muddy. But uh, so yeah, the joys of owning a combine. It is the most fun you can have at work, but they are a high maintenance item and we're putting a little bit of time and money into these we do every year but this year just seems like we're putting extra time extra money in but i still like having my own combine and uh makes makes harvest it makes life a little bit easier when we're not waiting on a custom harvester we work enough acres with a little bit of custom it works out just fine for us so oh and on a final note our friends at john deere did not have an engine kit for the 9500 back in December, no big deal. Got an aftermarket kit from our local machine shop. The 9670, oh, they're on national back order as well. There's 32 kits on national back order. So I don't know what's going on with my friends at John Deere. They don't have Reman Hydro for the 9670. They don't have an engine kit available. They didn't have a chaffer this fall. And they didn't have the motor for the 9500. So a little disappointed in my friends at John Deere, but that's okay. We'll get by. They're... Uh, Luckily, there's aftermarket companies that are willing to take our money and sell us parts at a, at a discount. So, yeah, 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 I know. Somebody's going to message me. I wouldn't put an aftermarket kit in my motor. What's our choice? And the, the diesel shop recommends the Reliance kits we're using. Say they've had great luck with them. So, what are you going to do? You uh, we either fix it or <laughs> we junk it. We're not going to junk a combine because we can't find a gen genuine John Deere parts kit. So... Uh, until next week, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, and as always, great day to feed the world. Hope you are too.